looking for some helpful hints and tips on the anglers you should pick for your fantasy fishing for the Bassmaster.com for Santee Cooper Lakes. Let's talk about it. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you click that subscribe button and that like button. It helps the channel by commenting and hitting that like button. Allows more people to see it and it really does help the channel. So do me a favor and do that to start off with. Classic is over. Congratulations to Jason Christie. Kind of had a good feeling about Jason. Everybody else, I sucked. Uh, Brandon Carr did well for me, but not the not the way I thought it would end for the classic. I had a, a little bit higher hopes for John Cox and a couple of the other guys. So still took a beating. I think I finished in the top. I'm still in the top 96% overall. But I've made some I've made some mistakes. I've started off in first, went to third, and I think I'm ninth in our group right now. But this is about y'all. We're going to talk about the Santee Cooper Lakes for the 2022 Bassmaster Series. It's coming up in just a few days. We will go through all the groups, try to give you some helpful hints and tips that could help you do well in this fantasy fishing. And to, to and we need to make sure that we first right off the bat say congratulations to john allen i think won the classic so please email me and uh, send me your address so to start off santee cooper water levels are going to be off and the fishing is on fire right now everything i've read fishing report wise Everybody is doing exceptional fishing. The spec fishing is good. They're crappie fishing. The bluegill, the, the striped bass, uh, bass fishing, cat fishing, everything is on fire. The water Again, the water levels are up. And if you look at a 10-day forecast, it looks like while they might get some rain, it could be really great weather for that tournament. And that has a lot to influence on how this is going to how this is going to work out. If you look at what's happened, they were uh, the elites were there a couple years ago, but they fished it in October. So it's going to fish completely different than what we are going to see here in the middle of March. I think we're going to see some some pre-spawn fish. We're going to see some fish moving up because the water levels are high. Uh, those creeks are going to have a, are, are going to play a little bit of are, are going to come into play. But we're going to talk about every group and to start off with. We're going in group E, where there's not a lot of the big names. You have um, the the people right now that are the favorites are Tata Auten, uh, Stephen Kennedy, who is really tough for me to pick, um, Carl Jakobsen, uh, Hunter Schreirock, and then Kyle Welcher, who Kyle Welcher, Welcher just came in as second place at the classic and for Kyle to be in in group E is is a little confusing to me because you know you can have some momentum from the classic to here that could boil over for Kyle um but again we got to look at what's happened in the past uh Hunter Shryrock came in 29th uh Kyle Welcher came in 32nd uh, Todd Auten came in, has come in 48th, 86th, and 85th. Skylar Hamilton came in 66th, and Paul Mueller came in 33rd, a really fantastic angler. And as crazy as this sounds, and I really, really don't want to pick this guy, I kind of got to go with Stephen Kennedy. And I hate, I, I, I mean, I can't even tell you that I don't want to do this. I, I really don't want to do this. What the heck was that? Uh, and the reason why is Stephen Kennedy is just a roller coaster on this fantasy fishing. He's either good or he's just bad. Had a great classic. That's a positive. He's also come in 13th and 4th in these events at Santee Cooper in the past. He is the second favorite as of recording this. And 
as crazy as it sounds, I'm picking Stephen Kennedy. And I'm really scared about it. But I'm going to go with my gut, and I'm going to go with his past experiences, and go with Kennedy. In Group D, we've got some really big-name guys. Chuck, Justin Atkins, two-time classic champion Hank Cherry's in this one. I, I, uh, Cody Huff. Uh, Mike Iconelli is here. Kobe Krieger. Uh, Shane LeHue. I really like Shane LeHue really, really like these, these days. Mark Paul, Luke Palmer. Brock Mosley. I love Brock Mosley. And, and Brad Watley and Clark Wendlett. All absolutely just great names the favorites as of recording this Hank Cherry is the favorite 30 percent of the people have already picked Hank Cherry and you have Ike and Ellie Luke Palmer Matthew Robertson and uh, Brock Mosley if we look at past experiences just Matt kids hasn't had any tournaments out here so we really don't know Hank Cherry classic champion had another great classic just here the, over the weekend came in 25th here recently Shane LeHue came in 46th. Brock Mosley came in 44th. Luke Palmer came in 18th. It's something to think about. But in my opinion, the person I look forward to and the person I'm picking here is Iconelli. He's had an 18th, a 31st, and an 85th. Between Palmer and Iconelli, it was a real up and down. I didn't know who to pick. I'm going with Iconelli, even though he's the 78th ranked, 78th ranked angler, and Palmer is the 28th ranked angler. Um, that's because of experiences that have happened so far. Uh, Luke has had a top 10, while Iconelli has just had one top 35. It doesn't make a lot of sense on this one, but Iconelli is in for a good tournament. Not saying that he started off really bad, but I think he hasn't started off on fire as on fire as he would have wanted to. And I think the fire is starting to build. I think the smart decision is probably Palmer or Mosley, but I'm going to go with Iconelli here in Group D. In Group C, we have classic champion Jason Christie. How is he in Group C? Crazy. We have other anglers like Rick Clun, Keith Combs, Seth Fighter, Matt Heron, Justin Hamner, who's having an absolutely ridiculous year. Chris Johnston, Lee Livesey, uh, Gerald Swindle, and Caleb Sumrall is just a few of the great anglers that are in this group. One of the tougher groups to, to pick, to be honest. Uh, Jason Christie just won the Classic. Momentum is going to be on his side. Uh, if there was someone that needed, and he's the eighth ranked angler out there, he's the highest ranked in this group. He's had uh, three top 50s this year, two top 35s, and a, a t one top 10. Jason, everybody's going to pick here. Everyone should probably pick here. Not my pick. But I can see Jason continuing to do well and to just crush him. Rick Clun, not really a great angler out on Santee Cooper. 82nd, 74th, and 37th. Keith Combs, great Texas angler, has been, has come in 60th out here. Seth Fighter had a 45th last time. Justin Hamner, who's just crushing it this year. Uh, no experience out there, but doesn't mean he won't do well. He is that good. Justin Hamner is that good. Chris Johnston has had a 57th. Lee Livesey has had an 80th. Gerald Swindle has had a 41st, 28th, 39th, 112th, and 114th. And then Caleb Sumrall has had a 53rd. My pick here is Matt Heron. 15th and a second. And the second was in an open, which I think are the hardest tournaments to do well in. Uh, Matt's a great angler. He's had uh, a couple top 50s and a top, one top 35 this year. Just, just a really solid, all-around great angler. 
I think this is a solid pick. So in my opinion, just be, and he's in really Matt is a dark horse in this in this group. I think Matt is. I will be picking Matt, and you can pick whomever you choose. But Matt isn't a bad pick. Moving on to Group B, where we start seeing a lot of big names, a lot of great anglers. Matt Airy, Drew Benton, Brandon Cobb coming out of that classic where, I don't know where he finished, but it wasn't where, he was one of the favorites. Didn't have a good one. John Cruz, Austin Felix, Greg Hackney, Taku Ito, Bill Lowen, Scott Martin, Brian New. Holy cow, Brian New. Chad Pipkins, Jacob Prosnick, Patrick Walters, Chris Zaldane. Shut up. This is a stacked group. I mean, this is a stacked group. Matt Ray's had a 49th. Drew Benton has had a 20th. I want you to remember that one. Brandon Cobb has had a 55th. John Cruz a 40th. Austin Felix, 4th. Bill Lowen has had a 6th and a 36th. Chad Pipkins has had a 73rd, 130th, 12th, and 70th. Jacob Prosnick's new to the area, probably will be still very good. Patrick Walters, an 11th. Chris Zaldane, a 38th. Brian New is new too, and Scott Martin too. It's hard for me not to pick Austin Felix here. Uh, he's had one top 10 for the year. Uh, he's ranked about the, tw it says he's ranked 27th right now in this overall and really is a gr really is a really a really great angler uh, from Minnesota I like Austin here I know I can understand Patrick Walters is one of the favorites that when I'm recording this he's almost 32 percent of the people have picked him Brian new I can see I can see legitimately a reason why to pick new in every tournament right now three top 50s one top uh three top 50s two top 35s and one top 10 for the year he's the 12th ranked angler in here i can see him doing very well while i'm taking austin felix it was really hard not to take new because he's just fishing that well and there's a lot to, the fishing confidence has a lot to do with how some of these guys work i talked to jason christie about it years ago and he when he used to get on a tear he, it was all about momentum for him. Uh, so I can see a lot of people taking new in this category. And the way, honestly, the way uh, Scott Martin has fished this year, I can see a lot of people taking Scott too. I like Austin. I know that fourth play finish was in October, but Austin really fished well. I think that even though, to, to, just to keep it real, I, I like Austin here, and I really like Bill Lowen here. I, I really like Bill Lowen here, too. And Bill's a really good friend, so it's hard for me not to take Bill Lowen. But I'm going to go with the guy who fished the best last year in October, different time, but just seemed to ha, has seemed to do a lot of things right so far. And that's Austin, so that's my pick. And finally, in Group A, we've got a bunch of absolutely ridiculous anglers. Stetson Blaylock, who is just doing everything right. Two top tens, just fishing magnificent. Uh, I think he's probably number one in, in the AOI points. I, I'm not looking it up. Scott Canterbury's in this group. Brandon Card is here. Uh, John Cox, Michael Frazier, Buddy Gross. Jamie Hartman, Corey Johnston, Brian, Brandon Lester, David Mullins, Brandon Palinick, who won it last time they were there. Don't sleep on Tyler Rivet. I think that's how you say his name. Brian Schmidt, Bernie Schultz should be looked at here too, and Jake Whitaker. It's a who's who of all the good anglers. Like I said, Brandon Palinick won it last time they were here, uh, but again, that was in October, so it's going to fish a little bit differently. Stetson Blaylock, last time they were here, he finished 59th. Scott Canterbury finished 65th. John Cox finished 22nd. Buddy Gross finished 37th. Brandon Lester finished 21st. David Mullins finished 8th. 
Tyler Rivett finished finished 23rd. Bernie Schultz had a, a fifth, a 25th, and a 29th. And I'm going to tell you right now, when they were there last time, Bernie that was Bernie's best chance of ever winning. He had three absolutely ridiculous days, and that fourth day he ran out of fish. So I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't put it, you know, too far that we don't see another great run from from Bernie, one of the all-time great anglers and really a really close friend and I someone I truly care about so I'd love to see him do it. Uh, uh, Brian Schmidt finished 84th and then uh, Jake Winter Whitaker finished 16th. Like I said this is a really it's really hard there's gonna be a lot of people to see that take Brandon Palinick in this one and John Cox here too. I love John Cox and I, I love Brandon Palinick like like brothers to me to be honest. Um, but when I look at this one, it's really hard for me not to go with David Mullins here. And there's a, a couple reasons why. He's made three top tens this year. Three top tens in three tournaments. That's saying something. I think he's number two in Angler of the Year. He's number two in the rank here. His results getting eighth last time they were, they were here is pretty significant. And... He's just fishing with extreme confidence. And, and confidence is like color in your fishing lures. You have, you have that confidence color. You fish it better. It's just how it is. It's just how it works. So for me, from Tennessee, I'm taking David Mullins in Group A. So there you have it. My fantasy fishing picks and the people I think are going to do well, and hopefully this helps you out. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on, and good luck. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your um kids fishing. Pfft. <sniffs>